NDE's analysis indicates this is not raw sewage. However, the agency also reports there's no clear-cut evidence to confirm its origins. Back River, near the wastewater treatment plant, continues to cough up gobs of solid pollution. This video taken days ago by a Back River Restoration Committee member captured waste near the plant's discharge pipe. And we looked down and just saw things floating and bubbles, like gases coming up from, from the bottom of the river. It had a very strong odor and it very much resembled that of human feces. MDE responded with a report saying, MDE's analysis indicates this is not raw sewage. The department is planning to conduct a field study, collect more sediment samples in the river and compare them to the material in the wastewater treatment plant to better understand and determine the source of the issue. Their answers are always, it doesn't appear to be, it doesn't seem to be, it seems to look like. There isn't really any definitive answer, which has become increasingly frustrating. Back River Restoration Committee project manager Desiree Griever takes samples of the river weekly. She says an independent analysis of the feces-looking specimen indicated dangerously unsafe levels of bacteria. Dangerously unsafe. This is people's health. This, that water surrounds this community park. The people here that are playing and fishing deserve definitive answers. The Maryland Environmental Service, a nonprofit whose work is monitored by MDE, took over the facility in late March. It happened after an on-site inspection documented serious plant operation problems, including clogged filters and inoperable storage tanks. MES provided 11 licensed operators, five maintenance staff, training, and is currently helping the Baltimore City-run plant implement an operator training program. There is now 24-hour coverage. They are replacing and or repairing six pumps that draw solid waste. They are bringing in new lab equipment. What plant neighbors say is lacking is a line of communication with the community. This community deserves definitive answers. This community deserves action, and it feels as if there is absolutely no sense of urgency. The Maryland Environmental Service is prepared to operate the plant as long as necessary. Still no court date on Baltimore City's challenge to the state takeover. Reporting along Back River in Dundalk, David Collins, WBIL-TV 11 News.